I'm Marisol Lebron. I'm an assistant professor of American Studies here at Dickinson College, and my research focuses on policing and racism in uh, Puerto Rican and Latino communities. I'm not sure if I think that anything's going to change, or at least I'm, I'm not sure that anything's going to change for the better in terms of how most people um, who are not Puerto Rican who live in the United States view Puerto Rico. If we look at Another similar migration pattern, which is in the 1980s after the Mario boat lift and the massive kind of influx of Cuban migrants to Miami during that time, we saw hostility arise to that population. We saw concerns over their access to certain kinds of social benefits. And I think we're going to see a repeat of some of that happening with Puerto Rican migrants. Stuff needs to be rebuilt on the island, but it needs to be rebuilt in the right way, right? It needs to be rebuilt in a way that doesn't make existing inequality worse. It doesn't have detrimental environmental impacts on people. You know, in a way, there's an opportunity to completely start fresh. Right now, the island is fossil fuel dependent, which is not sustainable, right? It's an island, so everything has to get shipped there. But then also when things like this happen, the, the island is completely vulnerable, right? Because it's not able to access fuel, fuel is not able to get across. So I think there's an opportunity to rebuild with sustainability in mind and also thinking about Puerto Rico as the poorest U.S. jurisdiction, there's an opportunity to really create green energy on the island that creates massive job incentives and that also reduces people's energy costs. 